Yeah, someone should do handoffs. Stay. Stay. South Green is getting a new batch of uniforms. Still learning. A lot of kids have been on the track for three days now. Joe Case started the track and field program at West Green High School nine years ago. Just go through warm up and we'll just get it done real quick. Now, this year, he's starting one at South Green. Well, it's just, it's just been a great opportunity. I, I'm thankful for the administration at uh, South Green High School and the community at South Green High School. They've been receptive of it and the kids have been really, seem to be really excited about it. And it's just been a great, great opportunity for uh, us and the kids and I, I'm really thankful for it. To start a program from scratch is quite a task. First of all, you need the athletes. So he got kids from other sports to spend their spring on the track. We have girls that play volleyball and basketball. We have guys that play football and basketball. And I think it just kind of correlates with, with speed, explosion, uh, ability, learn to control your body. So it's, it's, it's a great sport to transition to other sports. That's what the Rebels have in senior Haley Kells, who was competing for the West Green program since South Green didn't have one until now. It was very exciting when we heard that he was coming here and I didn't know how many people would show but there's a lot more people than we expected and it's just fun. It's a lot more fun whereas when we ran for West Green you did meet new people but it's just a better feeling to run for your own school and represent your own school. Well she's such an athlete and she's been at it a, a couple of years so she's used to it and you know she's been to the state in, uh, in volleyball, basketball and track and field and she's been all state in a couple of events, triple jump, high jump, uh, pentathlon, so uh, and she's qualified in the hurdles. Yes ma'am! She's one of just a few bringing experience to this team. Most of these kids have never done track and field before, like junior Logan Wagner, a football player who's picking up shot put in discus. I hate running and this, uh, Coach K said he, he thought he'd, I'd be really good at this with my explosiveness and everything and Right now we're just trying to learn the basics. I think this is definitely a learning year for all of us. We like it. Yeah, we all love it. It's a great way to hang out and everything, and we have fun while we're over here. I just think he, uh, I think it's pretty easy. He's always a great kid to be around, young man to be around, and he's just really excited, seems to be excited, and, and he's always wanting to learn, so that's a positive thing. Football is still Logan's first love. His normal off-season routine consists of just hitting the weight room, but he sees a number of benefits to spending his spring out on the track. I know a lot of other uh, college football players, they do a lot of shot put for shoulder strength and everything, and discus for footwork, and I figured it'd be a good idea to improve football and everything, and I found out it was a lot of fun to do. Logan's explosive anyway. The other day he did uh, 275 instead of five, on uh, power clean, so you know he it, his transition is pretty easy. He's explosive, and, and I think that it correlates a lot with track and field and football together. Haley is a three-sport athlete, but her focus is track and field. One of few with experience in this sport, so Coach Case relies on her to be another coach. Like he'll be teaching one group of like high jump, and if I go off to do long jump, and someone's interested in long jump, he'll have me show them drills and teach them how to do it so it's kind of just like a team effort. There's always questions everywhere but it's fun to teach them because you were in their shoes at the beginning too so you get to see how much you grow and develop. And, and that's a good thing you know we have two or three uh, kids that are got a lot of experience as far as doing track so you know one in Abby King and another in Isaiah Olson so they've been around it a little bit. Riley Ottinger's another young lady that's been around it for a year or two. So it's been, it's been a really good thing. Uh, so they've been able to help transition. It is the program's first year, but that's not stopping them from setting some pretty high goals. Well, we're in the Region 1 Small School, and one of the things that uh, my goal is to compete and be in the top three or four in the region. And uh, my goal is actually to try to qualify at least six to eight athletes, boys and girls. But above all else, they're just having fun wearing a brand new uniform for the Rebels. I mean, it's just amazing to see kids smiling and, and enjoying something and trying things new. And they're, they're unsure of themselves a lot of things. That, but after the first meet or two, they realize they'll be able to compete and do some things. So it's, it's exciting. Mainly he wants us as a, just to have fun since it's our first year. And just everyone always thinks track is just running. But there's so many different events and different people like different things better. So people are starting to realize that it's not just running. The first time I did it, I was better than average at it. And I just 
I was like, all right, this, this will be fun. This will, yeah, Coach K socked me into it, and I'm glad I decided to do it. In Greenville, Michael Epps. One, two, three, Rebels! News Channel 11 Sports.